This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Blue Apron. Blue Apron delivers fresh ingredients and recipes to your door so you can cook something new and interesting tonight. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by visiting blueapron.com slash macvoices. Eat well tonight. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at CES in Las Vegas. I'm here with Jackie from Griffin to talk about, well, first of all, we're going to talk about Griffin's 25th anniversary. I can't believe it's been 25 Crazy. years. Crazy, 25 years, yeah. Founded in 92. Uh, we've come a long way. Uh, we have a whole timeline of products here behind us that kind of illustrates all the various stages we've gone through, um, starting out with display adapters uh, back in 92 that Paul Griffin soldered himself and uh, from there, you know, we've just created solution after solution, all the different pain points that people have with their technology. We're constantly figuring out ways to overcome it and still doing it today. That's always been the interesting thing about Griffin is you have little niche products that don't necessarily appeal to a wide market, but to the people that really need them, you really need them. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, along, all along the way, you see that. Um, some of the products that we picked out to display, you know, like the iMate, um, you know, an ADB to USB adapter, that was a big deal at the time. You know, when, when we transitioned over to USB, everyone had their really expensive equipment that was ADB and they either had to replace it thousands of dollars or buy a $20 adapter. It was like a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the tradition continues. And this is CES 50th anniversary. This is your 25th. So there's there's a synergy going on here somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. So what all is Griffin showing new this year? So this year we've moved into a whole new area outside of just the office stuff and, you know, where a lot of people think of Griffin. Um, we have a connected home appliances. So Griffin Home, uh, it's connected coffee maker, toaster, there's a mirror. Uh, so just like a whole system of uh, um, app-enabled uh, appliances so you can go in and really drill down through the app um, their Bluetooth uh, they you know talk through Bluetooth and you know customize exactly how you like your toast or you know my husband likes his really dark I want you know you can really go through and and have those saved as presets so every day it's just toast and it automatically lowers down toasts um, that's my favorite part is watching it go bzzz, uh, and then it pops up it notifies you on your phone when your toast is done um, same thing with the coffee maker. Some people are very particular about, you know, the, the strength, the brew strength, and that sort of thing. So um, you can customization is key on this. So now you skipped over one of my favorite things that I saw, and that's the mirror. Yes. This is one of those things you knew somebody was going to come out with it, and if Griffiths come out with it, it's probably done right. Yes. Yeah. The connected mirror is part of this whole ecosystem. Uh, this is like a this is a large three foot by four foot mirror smart mirror it goes in your house um, we kind of see it as like a bathroom vanity or some a dressing room area like you would be getting ready in the morning it's got the weather and the time and uh, app notifications will show up uh, not only you know communicating with the other Griffin home devices hey your coffee's ready your toast is ready but also if you get a text message you can have that pop up there so you can customize everything through the app how much information do you want shown on this mirror um, it can be as passive as you want it to be. So, now, can that be mounted landscape, or, or does it have to be portrait? It's portrait. It's portrait. Yeah. Okay. Sort of thought, you know, yeah. maybe the next model will be able to orient, but you're <laughs> not going to reorient a mirror that often. So, true. Yeah. yeah. This is once it's installed, it's installed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you were showing me before we started an iPhone case, and this is now people say, "Oh, please, not another iPhone case." But this one, finally, you've done it right. Yes, this one is different. This is the reserve battery case for iPhone 7. Not only is it a, a 3000 milliamp hour battery case, but it adds the headphone jack back to the iPhone 7 and it charges with lightning. So it's an MFI certified case. Um, you don't need to carry around the micro USB cable anymore. It's, it is done right, yeah. And, and that's a big deal because now with Apple CarPlay, you connect through lightning for Apple CarPlay. Um, all, the, all the ancillary docks you might have from other uh, vendors, you know, when you when you put those other cases on and it requires that micro USB, you can't use any of that. So now I've got the extra juice. I've even got the headphone jack if I want it, but I've got my lightning cable back. Exactly. Yeah, that's really hit home with a lot of people that have seen it. Uh, even in the, the first day of the show, it's like, oh, yeah, I need that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I know we're speaking of power. Uh, there's a new series of power banks. 
Yes, so our uh, Survivor Power Banks, we have a whole range. We've we've had um, a, a large model out for quite a while, very rugged um, to go with our Survivor Series. It's you know ready for anything, but um, we've also added uh, a medium and small capacities uh, and a whole slew of colors as well. Okay. Um, what else? I, I lose track. I know there's so many things here. <laughs> there are so many things. Um, our break safe cable. I know uh, we we spoke about break safe last year at CES. Um, that was a huge hit um, that last year with the USB C on MacBooks that came out. Well, Apple has gone even farther this year and added it to the MacBook Pros. Uh, so a lot of people are upset that MagSafe is basically on its way out. So our BreakSafe cable, um, we've expanded that range. Uh, so the MacBook Pros require a lot more power. Uh, so our original BreakSafe cable that we announced last year at CES was 60 watts. We've announced a 100 watt one uh, this year. So that can power even the the, the um, heaviest uh, MacBook Pro there that needs you know all that power. Um, we've got that. We've also announced one um, kind of bringing BreakSafe to everybody, um, not just the USB-C people. So there's um, a BreakSafe uh, USB-A adapter. So any any USB-A device um, can have that safety of the magnetic breakaway cable. So you chip over the cable and the laptop doesn't go flying. Um, so we've got that with um, for Type A as well. So a lot of things here in the Griffin booth. There's no a lot. question. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, I'm afraid to ask you to go through all the pricing of everything, but how about let's, let's hit some of the high points: the mirror and the toaster and yeah. the coffee maker. So the mirror is um, just under a thousand dollars, ninety nine ninety nine. Um, uh, the coffee maker and toaster are ninety nine, and um, those are going to be the the mirror will be available later this year on the back half of 2017. The coffee and toaster are uh, Q2. Okay. And I have to ask about the the iPhone case. Yes, that one is $99, and that'll be Q2 as well. Excellent. Thank you so much for the time. Great great job. Congratulations on, congratulations on 25 years. Yes, we're excited. Thank you, Chuck. I'll see you back here for 26. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at CES. More soon. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.